you send another one? Sure, hit it. I love surprises. <laughs> so does our audience. Anyway, shall we go? Uh... M Mother, is this disguise really necessary? Darling, I put together this outfit for my new role in life. I, I know, it just looks like you sort of escaped an episode of Petticoat Junction. Well, it's probably <laughs> just as well. <laughs> oh, nobody knows how to take their clothes off these days. <laughs> no. This isn't bad. You said you couldn't cook. You did. Come on, come on. I can't lose you too, son. Come on. Breathe. Stop him so I need your help. What? Please, he, he, he got a terrible shock. And his breathing has stopped me. There's no pulse. I tried CPR. Yes, it, it isn't working. All right. I'm going to help you, Stuart. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe. Do the breathing. Do the breathing. Okay. Three, two, three, four, five. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Stop breathing. Stuart. Stuart, you're hurt. You do, do the breathing. He's still do the not breathing. breathing. What are we going to do? Do the breathing. Come on. Two. Come on. Okay. Three, two, three, four, five. Wait, wait, wait. There's a pulse. There's a pulse. It's weak. But it's there. It's just working. It's breathing. We can stop. Oh, Stuart. Oh, Stuart. <laughs> my son. No, we did it together. What in God's name is... Adam. He's breathing. Oh, Get us some light. We need a flashlight. The generator's not on. You have to tr plug it into the computer. Oh. No, that's what almost killed him. You, we need an ambulance. If we don't get an ambulance, he may die anyway. Camille. She, she found the phone. Thank God she found the phone. What's Camille have to do with this? She was here, which, which God got hurt. I sent her to try to find, find help. Okay, son. You hear that? Help us on the way. You're gonna be all right, son. You just hang in there. You're gonna be all right. Is this going to take? Mateo's tests? Not long. Why wouldn't they let me stay with him? Honey, he'll be fine. Okay? They're just figuring out why he has those headaches. They'll probably give him some medication until he's better. It's more than the headaches. It's everything. It's his attitude, selling holidays. It's like he wants to turn our whole world upside down. <laughs> Maybe he's tired of running a restaurant. Tired of his dream? Business is booming. We're a huge success. Okay. Well, he just probably wants another challenge. No. Mm -mm. It's not that he's scared. Only I can't figure out what. Haley, he's just... Look, you two have each other, right? You're crazy about each other, he's getting better. That's really all that matters right now, right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. So I'm gonna get us some more coffee. Will you do me a favor? Sure. Uh, check in the nurse's station and see how much longer things will take. Will do. And then we can all go home. Okay. Hi. 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 Were you readmitted? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just back for some more tests. You know, they, they have to keep monitoring my blood pressure, stuff like that, you know, because of the medication I'm on. How, oh, how's your husband? He's having more tests, too. He's been having these really terrible headaches. I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, are you any good with um, mechanical stuff? You know, electrical things? Why? Hopefully, it'll be a slow night tonight. I'd much rather spend it with you at Myrtle's. That's 
funny I'd do anything to be in the middle of medical mayhem right about now. Uh, or any time, for that matter. Maybe you should have just dropped me off in the parking lot. I'm okay. Honey, listen. Something good is going to come out of this. You'll see. Right, Jake. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. No matter what happens, you got to remember one thing. I love you. I love you, too. All right. I'll spring for breakfast uh, Breakfast after my shift. I'll get some fried eggs and bacon. Oh, somebody's really around. watching their cholesterol level these days. Not me. I don't intend to. Oh. But anyway, I got to change. You'll be good, OK? Do I have any other choice? Mm. Um, if you're looking for your grandfather, I haven't seen him. Uh, no, actually, I'm looking for a summer job. Do you know if they're hiring? Interns, candy stripers, anything. I'm afraid you're asking the wrong person. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I forgot. You're as unemployed as I am. Worse. I don't think they'd hire me to scrub toilets around here. I need some help here. What have we got? Oh Electric God. shock. You got hit with about 800 volts. What are, what are his vitals? BP 190 over 98. Pulse 126. Respiration? 24 in labor. Let's get him into cubicle one. IV antibiotic. Gotta get him on a heart monitor. Check his vitals while I get another IV started. Should I dress this other bird? Yeah, he's gonna be in a lot of pain when he wakes up. Hey, you guys. You wanna just uh, come over here for a little bit and let them do their work? Come on, Stuart, it's okay. You scared? No, you right? no, I'm fine. Okay, don't what worry they... too much, okay? Well, Allie, what are they doing to him? Well, they're probably checking his heart rate to make sure that there wasn't any damage from the electric shock and setting up IVs for his kidneys. His kidneys? Yeah, they've got to pump a lot of fluid into him just to make sure that there wasn't any cell damage and they have to make sure he doesn't go into renal failure. Well, that sounds really serious. I know it does, but that's probably not the case. If anything, if there's any damage at all, it's temporary. Okay. Was CPR the right thing to do? He'd, he'd stop breathing. Yes, you saved his life, Stuart. You did good. If anything happens to Scott, I'm just gonna die. Oh, come on, let's go get a cup of coffee, burn your tongue a little bit, we'll get your mind off of things. He's gonna be fine. Okay, okay guys, we'll be back. You are sure your mother's daughter? Excuse me? You came to help me just like an angel right out of heaven. Stuart. He wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for you. He has his whole life ahead of him. He's so young. <laughs> it was an accident. But that's what I can't figure out. I had the electrician check, check the cottage just last month. The wiring, he said, was fine. I thought as much. How come you want to know if I'm mechanically inclined? Well, because you asked me about a job, remember? Oh! <laughs> right, right. See, I know these people that might be hiring, you know, if, if, you're, if you're good with, like, fixing electrical things, that sort of stuff. So, are you? Yeah. You're yeah. interested? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking for work, so sure. Right. People okay. say I've never met anything I can't fix. Perfect. Take this number and uh, tell them Haley Santos recommended you. Thanks. Well, don't thank me yet. See if it pans out. <laughs> How's Mateo? He's, what um, did the test? No, no, no. He's fine. He's fine. They, it, the tests are almost finished. I just the nurse just told me that Scott was admitted. He was almost electrocuted at Stewart's cabin. What? Yeah. Is he okay? Yeah, he's. I don't know. He's in the ER. He, let's, let's go. go.
I'm such a thoughtless jerk. No, you're not. Worrying about trying to get a summer job while Scott's in an ambulance trying to fight for his life? Kelsey, don't beat yourself up. You had no idea. Why does everything bad happen to good people? I mean, Scott is the best. You really care about him, don't you? For all the good it does me. But that's not important right now. What's important is that Scott's going to be okay. He is going to be okay. He's in very good hands. Okay? Hey, how'd it go? I told you, it was just a headache. You're okay. Well, the tests aren't all back yet, but so far, so good. <sighs> Thank God there's some good news today. What do you mean? What's going on? Well, evidently, they just brought Scotty in, and he was nearly electrocuted up at, at uh, Uncle Stewart's cabin. Any word? They're still working on him. I hope he's going to be okay. He will. Stuart, what happened? It was the strangest thing. He went to plug the generator into the circuit panel. And he got this big electrical shock and knocked him 10 to 15 feet across the ground. He was knocked him unconscious. He didn't have any heartbeat and he, and he, and he didn't have any pulse. What time did it happen? Him. What time did it happen? About, about an hour ago. Why? No, no, I'm just, just curious. Hey, he's awake and he's asking for you, Stuart. He's going to be fine. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank God. I thought she was going to be okay. Yeah. yeah. We want to keep him here overnight uh, just to be on the safe side. Okay, sure, sure. Can I go see him? Yeah, yeah, by all means. Um, can I go? Uh, I don't think oh, right now. Come on, come on, come on. I, I better help him to see a friendly okay. face. Okay, just, just for a little bit, though. Right? Okay. Okay. Remember I told you about the, the flashlight I had, the, 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 the lightning bolt I yeah. saw, and then I sensed danger? It happened the same time that, that Scott got electrocuted. You think you were having a premonition? I, I call it what you want, but it's not over. What's not over? The danger. It's still here. I can feel it. Hey, welcome back, Scott. You gave us quite a scare. Jake Martin said I had an electrical shock. Oh, yeah. How? Don't you remember? Do you, do you remember being up at the cabin? I sort of. Remember we were fishing? Yeah. And what happened? Well, uh, why don't I fill you in, in the, on the details later, okay? Right now, you need some rest. We all love you, and you're going to be okay. It's the important thing. I'll, uh, I'll be right outside if you need me. No, Dad. No, that's all stay. right. Stay. Stay, stay. Yeah, I can see you're doing him some good. Listen, do you want any soda or uh, ice water or anything? No, thanks. Hey, Kelsey. <laughs> didn't see you standing there. I have to wake up in a hospital. It's nice to see you. What are you saying, Mateo? You had another vision? No. I'm saying that I still have this feeling that it's not over. That Haley's still in danger. And I know we've been going round and round, and the question is who, right? It's her. You did this. Excuse me? You hurt Scott Chandler. Oh, God, no. I, I'm the one who called 911. I, I, I came by to make sure... Everyone was okay. knows you have it in for Adam Chandler. Did you mess with our water heater, huh? That's, Did you explode our apartment building? That's crazy. I, 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 have, I haven't done anything to anyone in your family. Liar. You almost killed Stuart in that elevator. And now you've tried to kill my nephew. And I can prove it. to make a toast. Oh, my glass is in here. Liza. I would like to, since we are talking about loving and caring, make a toast to Jenny Gardner's brother, Mr. Tad Martin. 
Liza. To Tad Martin. I think you've had a Pine Valley's hot shot right. lover. The greatest of them all. Cool it, Liza. He mixed it with women of all ages. You should hear about this. Let's call me. Let me call me. It's okay. It's not his eyes. He's just drunk. Don't you want to hear about everybody's Tad, 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 take her. I want to hear her. Just get her. Call me. It's all right. She's just drunk. Get upstairs right now. Oh, you get too much to do, Jenny. Can we have some more champagne, please? Yes, more oh, champagne. Let go of me. Take that or do it. Please. Don't even shut me up. What kind of party is this anyway? What's the matter, Jenny? You don't want to hear about your brother? Huh? Liza, why don't you just all big favor and shut up, all right? You've done enough damage. Oh, no, I don't think I've done quite enough to you. No one knows what you've done. And you're not going to stop me from telling your dear sister Jenny either. Will you just go ahead? No, no, no. Come I'm on. This, this is enough, okay? She's plastered. She doesn't know what she's doing. No, no. I'm telling the truth. You see, your brother here, while he was going out with me, was having an affair with my mother. Go ahead. Deny it. See? Listen, Bob, Ted, could you leave us alone for a while? Please. Sure. Okay? So, what'd you think? Tonight, we honor Liza Colby and her sizzling performance.